Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for Simon Says Stamp, and I have the Stamp Timber 2020 exclusive from Tim Holtz. This stamp set is really fun. It has all of these cats with these really expressive faces. One is kind of angry looking at another or looking at the message that you put down. I'm going to be doing uh, a lot of masking and I'm going to put these together to create a single layer card. So I'm starting off with this kind of angry cat and he's going to sit to the left and he's looking off to his right. So I've tilted him a little bit so that it looks like he is looking at the cat that will sit to the upper right. So I've just used a Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I'm making sure that I get really good pressure and I'm using my Misty just in case I need to stamp it twice. I'll need to create a mask for him, so I'm using the 3M, this is the 3 inch tape, and I'm just putting this to the right. I don't need to mask off to the left, and without cleaning my stamp off, I can stamp right back over, and this will stamp onto my masking paper that I can trim up later. Next, I'm placing my other cat. This one's holding all those Christmas lights, and I'm placing them to where one of those lights is just about to touch the other cat's face. And again, I'll be using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, and I'll ink this up really well. Give that some really good pressure with my fingertips, and now I have both images. Once again, I'll put down some post-it paper, and then I can close the door and stamp right onto that masking paper. I'm also adding a small bird to the mix, and I will just ink him up. He's sitting at the bottom right. And I've placed him down onto the Misty so that he's kind of looking up at the angry cat. And you'll see when this all comes together how this looks. And this little guy will also get a mask just on his body portion. Once I have all of my foreground critters stamped, I'm going to go ahead and trim out my masks. And I'm cutting inside the furry part of the cat's tail so that I don't lose that detail. At this point, I have all my masks on my critters, and you can see the outlines of those tails where you can, the fuzzy parts. Uh, and I have a present, and I've aligned that onto the Misty. And I'm just going to ink this up again with the Simon's Stamp Intense Black Ink. It's perfect for my Copic markers. And I can stamp right over. And I'm going to make sure I press in around that mask so that I don't get any halos. And once I lift that up, I have the present. I've also created a mask for this. I'm going to place it over the top. And I'm going to blot the ink off a little bit since I'm going to reposition this stamp over onto my paper just in case I reposition it and I'm not happy with that position. So I'm going to stagger this a little bit so it's not sitting directly under the first one. It's sitting slightly to the right. And once I'm happy with that placement, I can shut the door, re-ink this, and stamp that in place. And once I remove my mask, you can start to see the stacked presents. I'll reuse that same mask and I'm gonna stamp one last present. And this one gets placed right over that little bird, but that's okay. His body is masked off, so it doesn't matter if I stamp over him. It does look like quite a mess until you start revealing all the layers that are underneath. I'll start peeling off the mask and we can see how what was stamped first now sits in the foreground. As you can see, the cat's tail sits over the top of those presents. And then here comes the second cat's tail, which is just about touching. So now it looks as though those cats are in front of those presents. For my coloring, I've sped this up. It is just pretty basic. I'm using some browns for my cat on the left. And I have all of my Copic markers in the description box below that I've used for this project. And I'm using a darker color for his stripes and around his eyes and also around the outside of the tail. I'll also use the darker color to add some shading on the belly and underneath. My second cat is going to be in tones of gray and I'm just going in lightly around the whole belly and face area and then I can go back in with a little bit darker color and start adding some dimension to his fur. So I'll add some shadows around his eyes, under the arm, and then down around the tail so it looks like that is sitting up just a little bit. I've chosen some pastel colors for the presents. You could use whatever color you wish. I've also colored in the little bird at this point, and I'm just coloring this in. I'm going to go back in with a zero blender and add some 
patterns to these presents, so I'm not really fussing about how clear it is. One of the things I like to do, especially with a single layer, is to add a little bit of gray around the entire image. And this makes it look a little bit more dimensional than what it really is. Now that I have everything colored, I am adding in some little stars above this cat, and I'm using Simons' Stamp Fog ink. And then towards the bottom, I'm using the Simons' Stamp Intense Black ink for my message. And here's how this panel looks when I'm all done with my coloring and stamping. Super fun. I've also added a little bit of glossy accents to those Christmas lights, and I've mounted this onto a slate piece of cardstock from Simons' Stamp. So I hope you've enjoyed this process of masking for a single layer card using the Tim Holtz stamp set for Stamp Timber 2020. And remember, it's a limited edition while supplies last. Be sure to visit our blog post for additional inspiration. And as always, thanks so much for watching.